Hello Libra and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading for June the 16th through to the 30th. So moving from Gemini season into the waters of Cancer season. And it's kind of interesting because when I was tuning in for you, I was getting this image of you looking into a deep pool of water and there was this ripple effect. <laughs> it's like something has occurred and you're just seeing the ripple effect of it in your life at this moment in time or the effects of something uh, whether it's something you've done or experienced, it does feel the fact it's uh, got the the deep well of water. It's very much soul connected or there's some deep emotions around it. So, yeah, interesting energy to come through for you. It feels very reflective. There's a lot here, but they feel right, Libra. So let's see. The world, the Ace of Crystals, wow. The Traveller and the Tower, gosh, my goodness. Wow, okay, the Ace of Crystals, manifestation, prosperity, the world, fulfillment and celebration. Look at that beautiful whale there and the panda. How cute. Wow. Lots of big changes coming through with this. This is the world is the completion of a cycle. The Ace of Crystals is, it's actually, I feel like it's the completion of this cycle that you started a long time ago or it... Yeah, it, it's a sense that something has finished. It it wanted to manifest prosperity or have some sort of manifesting uh, qualities to it. And this is where it see I see that you've kind of done what you needed to plant this seed. It's a strange feeling. It's like you needed to plant the seed. This is the equivalent of the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Crystal. So it's something to do with money, work or career or with your home and health. It's like you planted this seed and then that's all you have to do and you're starting to see the ripple effect in your life at this moment in time. So, yeah, interesting, but then it's got fulfillment and celebration <laughs> around it. So it might even just be you're celebrating the fact that you've started this new thing and you've done all that you can for this moment in time, which is really great. But we've also got this, the traveler, which is the equivalent of the fool, number zero, adventure and potential, and the tower, release and revelation. And it's kind of like you've done it now, you can't take it back and you're seeing the effects of it. And it's potentially uh, having a greater effect than what you thought it was going to have. So there's something unexpected around it with this tower energy and something revelatory. Uh, it's very, these two cards together are very eclipse-like energy. It's been some sort of activated change in your life that has helped precipitate in a weird way a bigger cycle, the ending of a bigger cycle. And it's this hopeful new start that's coming through with it. But it's a little bit of, I get this kind of nervousness, like I've done it now and now I want to see the effects of it. So, yeah, interesting, 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 interesting and adventure and potential, my goodness, like it's kind of saying, look at this, cup, ace, water coming in. So, again, like with this energy, you've got lots of endings, lots of activated change and lots of new beginnings. You've got two aces and the zero, the full card, the traveller which represents a new start, a new beginning, taking a leap of faith. This may have been something unexpected. There might be a sense of I wasn't expecting these results. I wasn't even expecting myself to do this, but it feels good. So the, the cup ace, this is, and the world is the end of a cycle. So you've got three beginnings of a cycle, one big end of a cycle, and then the tower, which is like, boom, <laughs> we're just like bringing, forget what you thought you knew was going to happen. Forget any expectations. The tower is showing you something totally different. So it kind of feels excited, excited exciting Libra, but also nervous. You're nervous for this. But the cup, ace, water, energy, this is the beginning, the birth of a beautiful beautiful new cycle. Um, you know, we got that energy of the deep pool, which is the water, the beginning of something that's having this ripple effect in your life. And it represents the birth of love, the ace of cups. It's the start of a cycle related to the element of water. And this is where, we're, you know, it, I think this is very tight, strongly tied into the start of cancer season as well. So it will probably be around that time. But it's the start of the birth of love. It's the birth of healing. It's the birth of joy. It's the birth of something that you're going to be feeling very differently with. So, yeah, wow. It feels like a kind of momentous occasion or a momentous 
new beginning that is coming in. So that's kind of what it's feeling like, Libra. It really does feel like, wow, hit the reset button with something and off we go. And it's released a whole heap of energy, which interestingly with the world, the the, the whale going deep <laughs> into the water, but there's joy about connecting in deeply. Uh, there's, a, again, a deep sense of renewal, but look at this love and connection with the two of cups as the situation coming in. So uh, for some of you, there's a new relationship here that's manifesting or a deepening of a relationship and exploring new emotional or spiritual territories with a partnership or with partnerships in general. It can definitely be related to love, but it can be a path of love, path of something you love doing. It can be a friend as well. It can be a relationship with a pet. It can be anything. Crossed by the strength card, you've been wondering whether you're strong enough to do this, I think that um, you'll kind of surprise yourself. The Eight of Cups or this water, the Ace of Wands. Okay, another Ace is coming through. So boom, you've got the Ace of Crystals, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. You know, you've got everything and the full card, the Seven of Pentacles. It's all happening here for you, Libra. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so things settle down in the near future, which is actually good because here's the judgment energy. Like it's a it's a card of an awakening, like the great awakening. Your spirit has been freed and something's been called into action and you're like, whoa, okay. The Four of Swords, yes, you might need a little rest. <laughs> you might, might need to take some time out to kind of go, what just happened? What makes sense of it? The Four of Pentacles, okay. Part of you is like, I just want to hold on to where it was. This all seems like a big sh shift and change here. But the temperance energy, it does, yeah, it does balance out, which is actually really nice. And things start to flow again, which is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. And you're going to be happy with the Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay. Oh, and the Six of Wands. Success, triumph, victory. So Libra, Wow. This is an amazing, really, really positive reading coming through for you. Great. I love it. So let's look at this. The Two of Cups is the situation. This is the card of love and relationships. So it connections in your life. And like I said, it doesn't have to be romantic, but it is crossed by the strength card, which would suggest that uh, it may be looking at strengthening relationships and there's tests of the strength of a particular relationship the resilience like how strong is this connection how how can this get through the next thing that we're about to step into so it's kind of interesting and I also get with this it's like um, putting aside some egos in order to step into the innocence of the new uh, and so it's kind of strangely got this almost um, yeah like the ver it, it's the Virgo, the maiden. It's got this virginal kind of energy, um, not literally, but just in that it's something very fresh and um, untainted and new. It's got that kind of purity with it. Um, so it, it's a pure, some pure intentions around this. There's pure love coming through with this. Uh, and it's that sense of it, it being new, like it's not um, tinged by cynicism or the harshness of the world at this moment in time. It hasn't had to go through those difficult cycles where it's had to grow up and go, okay, there are challenges. This all feels very like um, it's got that naivety to it which and purity of spirit, which feels important for whatever reason, Libra. So that feels important to have that energy around. Um, so... Yeah, it's not literal virginity. It's just kind of more of a metaphorical, symbolic energy of that, which is nice. It's very sweet. It's like a sweet love, a sweet healing, a sweet joy that comes through. So it's very, yeah, like I said, pure. In your conscious mind, you've got the Eight of Cups. It's interesting because we've got this full moon here that has precipitated this shift and change within you emotionally. And we've had, this is coming off the full moon in Sagittarius. It's interesting, Sagittarius is your final card here. But the full moon in Sagittarius was the 14th of June. And so that's the energy that kind of, kind of would be, there was a culmination point, something was shown to you, aka the world, fulfillment and celebration, where you were able to step into all this new energy. And that was what's precipitated this reading, which is interesting. So this is walking away in your conscious mind. It's thinking, okay, I want to walk away from something that is deeply unfulfilling. 
and step into a new energy. So, uh, yeah, it might be a little bit of a testing of the waters of relationships or it may be that you've kind of put something out there in terms of letting somebody know that you like them and just waiting to see what comes back. Or you've, you've, it's like a test pilot kind of energy of I'm going to put this out there as an idea and see what comes back. Maybe you're in an existing relationship and you've kind of suggested something that could shift and change a lot of things uh, and you're just kind of waiting for to see the effects that this could change both you and the other person's life in different ways and then it's got that ripple effect of if it affects you, it affects them and then it affects their relationships and, and so on and so on and so on, like the six degrees of separation energy. So at the base we've got the Ace of Wands and so the Ace of Wands, this is again <laughs> at the base thinking, really about activating and starting and initiating something new, a new cycle around love coming in, love and relationships, and really understanding this is something that you really want, like having the courage to step into this and going, this is what I want. So for some of you, this is quite literally about being assertive or putting yourself first or getting out of your comfort zone in, ter in terms of like speaking up and saying, this is what I want to be doing. So it's yeah, it's an interesting energy, but it's activation. It's activation of something new. It could be setting a new goal as well. So really nice energy. We do have the tra traveler, so adventure potential. You know, this is like going off on the next big adventure of your heart. And this could quite literally be traveling for some of you. It's like if that makes your heart sing. But I do feel like it's more related to love and relationships coming in. In the recent past, we've got the seven of pentacles. So this is where... There's been an, a sense of achievement, a sense of growth. There's something that um, kind of has done well here on this relate on this level. So it's kind of like it, the universe has wanted to give you a little bit of a confidence boost with maybe you've had, yeah, some kind of um, achievement of some sort, and you've seen some growth that's been coming through and going right. Well, this is given me the opportunity to step into this, which is really fantastic. Now, the Seven of Pentacles, can that can be around a relationship or relationships in general, but that could just be in to do with, because it's the Pentacles as well, this could be anything. It could be to do with your work and career, like maybe something's come in that's given you a bit more confidence and recognition, or maybe, you know, it's a breakthrough in your health journey. It's a, It can be anything, but um, it's just given you a sense of growth and confidence, which has helped you have the courage to step into this and to do this thing. So in the near future, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, and this is where you're feeling much more comfortable with the situation and where it's going. It's very much about comfort and security, this Queen of Pentacles, and stability. It's very much like going, okay, I've, I feel like I've got something of great value here, and I want to look after it, nurture it, look after it inside of me. I want it to be something that is stable. So, yeah, and this is, it's the element of earth. So it's very grounded. It's very, uh, you know, earthy energy. This could be somebody coming in, which is somebody that's good with money, somebody that um, is so, very caring energy. You know, it, it could be that if this is, just say this was starting a new relationship or a new job or this new thing that's starting, it kind of has this sense of it's being well tended and looked after and it's bringing this inner stability. So you're feeling uh, a lot better about things and that's where you're starting to feel differently because you're feeling more stable inside of yourself, which is good. So we have as a situation the judgment energy, the judgment card Okay, so judgment comes in when there's second chance on offer. It's an awakening, a renewal energy. It's a sense that, uh, you know, something is calling you. You've heard this message loud and clear and you've taken the action required. And it did require a little bit of clearing out and or clearing up some things, uh, but I don't feel like it's that hard to do that. Um, it feels pretty easy. I feel like you've done the, mo the majority of that work already, which is where might, maybe might be this sense of fulfillment and um, achievement because, you know, the universe has been putting you through a lot, testing you, testing your resilience, testing your strength. And now it's going, okay, you're strong enough now. Now you can do what we're asking of you. Now you can move forward with this. So uh, in the energy surrounding, you've got the four of swords, which is it's actually a very Gemini energy, but it's uh, saying, yeah, it's good to have a think about it. There's no rush into this. Um, well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. <laughs> 
it's it's having a deep think about something, but when it's got this with the the fool and the traveler and the tower card, this is where something clicks all of a sudden and the energy moves super fast. So it's almost like you need to kind of spend a bit of time thinking about it inside your mind, uh, rest, contemplate, whatever it is that you need to do. Um, and then once it kind of activates, then it's like, boom, okay. There could be huge realizations and huge mindset shifts that are kind of the thing. Your mind needs to shift and change. And it's about going deep within that to find that revelatory energy in order to kind of step into this. So sometimes the four of swords comes when the universe kind of, if you're not doing that yourself, that you're not resting or taking the time to think about it, it will bring this to you, impose it to you. So it could be the sort of thing, you know, like maybe you um, maybe you get like a cold for a week and you have to stay home and the universe is saying we want you to stay home and rest and think about something deeply. There's a deep message coming to you. So, But that's not for all of you. If you're very open and receptive, you'll get the message and there's no need for that kind of thing to come through. But that can sometimes be what is coming through. There's a deep sense of renewal and recovery with this in general, especially um, on all levels of your life, actually. This is big. So in terms of hopes and fears, you've got the four of pentacles. This is where it's like, you know, just holding on to the comfort zone. Thank you very much. I don't, I don't really want to step into this new, it seems a bit scary to me. I don't know if I want to do that or it's, but I, I feel like at the same time, you don't want to miss it and you know that you have to do it. So it's kind of, yeah. And the four of pentacles can represent savings like money. Uh, so if you're kind of thinking, yeah, I want to go traveling or yeah, I want to go see the world or yeah, I want to be making more money and starting my own business or bossing up or putting something out there that can make money or doing something that potentially could, um, you know, whatever this ace of pentacles is that you're birthing into your life as well, um, perhaps you're wanting to save or use your savings for that. So that's something that could be coming through. But look at this as an outcome, temperance card. You're dipping your toe into that beautiful water and things are starting to flow again. Balance is being restored and everything calms down with the temperance card. It's something's aligning that's really healthy for you, that's bringing in happiness, uh, which is actually really great, making you happy, even bringing in long-term happiness um, with this ten of cups. It can be the temperance energy can represent new paths opening and new opportunities opening up for you that are more aligned to you that are going that are going to bring this happiness, like I said, or a happier um, journey down the path anyway. And yeah, the temperance energy is around setting goals. Like it's a Sagittarius energy. This with the Ace of Wands, it is uh, setting a goal that, uh, yeah, feels really good. So yeah, uh, just in terms of love and relationships in general, things start to balance out, things start to feel more aligned, things you're going to feel a lot happier. So that's a really, really nice energy. The temperance energy is all in moderation. Again, there's patience. So there's this fast energy of like realization and activation. And then when you're actually going through the process of it, it's all very, um, you know, take your time, enjoy it. It's a slower process. So we've got the six of wands, success, triumph, recognition, rewards, congratulations, um, all these things, you know, you've successfully um, done what it is that you needed to do and you're starting to see those successful results that are coming through in that ripple effect. So yeah, beautiful. It's it's a really fantastic reading to come through for you, Libra. Really fabulous. And I feel like a lot that you've worked through because we've been in like half of this reading is for Gemini season and we've been in the element of air, which is going to be really complimentary to you. It's making things easier for you in some ways because you're an air, element of air as well. Uh, and so it's things that have become a little bit easier or things that have started to flow in that season, you're starting to kind of start um, getting some emotional rewards for it as well. So interesting. Let's see uh, your affirmation card. I am worth loving. Beautiful. I do not have to earn love. I am lovable because I exist. Beautiful. I love that. Others reflect the love I have for myself. So that is your affirmation card. It is around self-worth and self-love and just feeling loved in general. And that this is, um, again, a, a 
I feel like there's love coming back to you from somebody um, and or from something that you've done um, that yeah is is mirroring back this self worth this this love which is beautiful. We have the fleur de lis for the for the charm, and this is yeah it's interesting. It speaks of tradition. It speaks of uh, family, it speaks of status, it speaks of history as well. So I do feel like you're potentially working with a lot of themes to do with that. I am getting a very close association with this and the Eight of Wands, that, that, that something new is coming in here is very definitely could be having, uh, yeah, it could be affecting your like a change to your status in some way or change to how you're being recognised and seen in the world in some ways. And it could be, um, yeah, I mean, for some of you this is like around family as well. There's a very strong traditional family connection with this. So whether you're wor however you're working with this, um, it does feel like, you're working positively with this energy into how you want to mold it. So some of you are wanting to bring in like some more, um, some, it, there's pride with this, like it's being really proud of something and showing it to the world, like staking your claim, and going, I'm proud of my family, I'm proud of who I am, I'm proud of where I've come from, or I'm proud of what I've achieved here, um, I'm proud of what I've done. So it's the sense of being able to kind of claim something and potentially show it off in a way that is like the six of wands, not in a like really ego pride way, but in a way of just, you know, I've done really well and you should feel that way. Absolutely. So that's it, Libra. I'm going to take it over to the extended reading. Now we're going to see what's coming in in the near future and the future beyond, you know, everything stabilizes, there's healthy balances coming in. Um, there's an alchemical shift occurring here with the temperance card, which is making your love and relationships happier. Um, there's new goals. So let's see where this is all going in the near future and future beyond. Who's coming in? What sort of energies are coming in? What's being supported by this? What opportunities come through with this? Uh, we're going to ask about managing this energy because, you know, all the energy, energies are all potential. So this is going to activate for some of you. And this is where we're kind of going to ask what's the best way to step into the, the highest potential that's on offer here with this energy. And we're going to ask for any clarify, clarifiers or any other intuitive messages that you need to hear. So that is all in the extended reading. Would love it if you come over. The link for that will be in the description box below. And I usually pin the link to the comments as well. And if this is where we're leaving each other, Libra, please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and take care.